So let's give a look to the wireless and Wi-Fi repeater. You're going to be able to extend uh, your local network, your Wi-Fi. Remember, this is a, is a 802.11. This works with uh, 110 and 220 or 230 volts. It comes with uh, uh, cable, RJ45 cable, in case you want to do it in an AP network. And the instructions. So let's give a look at the repeater before we go to the installation. So here we got the power on when you are connected to the Wi-Fi. If you want to use the WPS, and we are connected to the uh, RJ45. So the RJ45 here to the reset, and this is the 110. And this one is the USA version, but I'm guessing uh, they have ones for the 220. But you, oh, you always can put an adapter. It's the only thing that uh, they change this. We only can one one adapter. Okay, select there. So let's configure this. One thing to reset it. All right, you're gonna hold this, and you're gonna hold it for about 10 seconds. You're gonna see these two lights. You're gonna see this one. These two lights waiting to start blinking. When these two lights start blinking, it means it's resetting. Let it go and wait. It takes about maybe a minute. You see it's going to reset. Then everything goes off. Then you're going to see the power. And then the Wi-Fi signal will come on. So that takes a while. Maybe about 20 seconds. First, they get a red light. And we're going to wait for the green light. So we got a green light on. We're going to go into uh, my Windows PC. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go into network. So if you are connecting to your local network, you're going to be changing. All right. So you see this is my network. And now we see the repeater here. So we need to disconnect from here. We're going to be connecting to the Wi-Fi repeater. We're going to click there and we connect. So we are connected. You're going to see there's no internet. That's fine. We open your favorite browser. And right over here, we're going to type 192.168.10.1. We have enter. So we get the main panel right over here. You're going to put the default password admin and admin. You set your language. In my case, I leave English. Submit. Now they've got different configurations here. If you want, you can change your password. You can change your network time. You can turn it off on if you want in a schedule, but we're not going to do that. That's an advanced picture. What we get is connect right away. So we're going to click repeater. So now you're going to start your network. So pay attention. Let's look for our own network. Now there is two ways to do this. Uh, we're going to click right there. That's my local network. Now your password, very important. It's the same password you have for your Wi-Fi. Do not try to put any other password. So if we set this this way, What's going to happen now when we connect to the network? We're going to see, let's say, if I want to copy this, say my, my local network, I can do this and dash uh, two. So I know that's my second network. And I'm going to put the key same as that because it needs to connect that. Now, the best thing to do it is have the same name. Okay, you can do that too. You can sell your modems that way or your routers that way. So when you put the same key, what's going to happen now, if you're going to be changing locations, your you phone or whatever you have, it will automatically detect. So that way it's going to be using the SSID, the same. It's not going to be, you're not going to even notice the change. So we type the password, we apply. And it's done. So we are connected to the network and we repeat it with the same name, channel one, and that's automatic. And this is going to show you the password. So when we go here, all right, that's it. Now we see only one network, but if you change it, if you put this far, it will automatic change. It's always going to see one network available, no matter what. You can keep repeating this as many times as you want. Or if you want, like I said before, if you want to know what network you are connected, so what I'm going to do, I can come back and instead, instead to call it the same name, I'm going to call this uh, network 2, network 3 if you want. But if you want, in that case, it's good for your mobile. And that's simple. We got the whole installation done in less than a few minutes. Thank you. Bye.